uh, if you can remember last summer in August, uh, I came to the little pretty town of Sharon, Ontario, Canada here uh, to eat Detroit style pizza from Timbo Slice. And I asked you guys if you really wanted me to come back here and watch Tim make a pizza for me, uh, I would do that. So it is time. I've contacted uh, Tim and it uh, turns out that uh, Tim proposed to Mallory. So they are engaged to get married. So I'm going to go into one of these stores here. Hopefully we can buy a, um, a wedding card or an engagement card and uh, give them some money uh, to set them on the right path. Uh, to life. All right, so let's go get a card first and then we will go in there grab that pizza Watch Tim make it. We'll say hello to him And uh, again, if you live in the area of Sharon Newmarket, come on over to Vince's and grab yourself a Detroit style pizza from Timbo Slice Are you guys ready? Let's go get some Engagement, engagement, oh there we go, that looks good. Totally locked out, went in there and found an engagement card. It looked like that was the only spot for engagement cards. It's either that I had to buy a blank card and just figure it all out for myself. Uh, but I don't have a pen, I just looked through my whole vehicle that do not have a pen in this vehicle. And another thing I forgot to mention, one of our amazing supporters and subscribers by the name of Danny K, he works for uh, Nesquik and he sent me another big box of Nesquik drinks, shirts, a jacket. So thank you very much, Danny K. And what I did was I put them all in the back. Uh, the other thing too, it started raining like crazy and hailing as I came back out to grab a pen to fill out that card. So uh, it just stopped. I am so lucky right now. Oh, it's raining just a little bit. So let's go in the back, grab those drinks. We'll put them up here. Then we'll go get the pizza and give them the card. Uh, I'm gonna have to also go into that bar over there and grab a pen so I can write on the card. You have to write in the card, right? So let's get those drinks first. We put the blue Eddie to work today. It's already charged up my batteries and uh, we're down to 98%. I've got my DC on because we've got the uh, the set power, keeping my drinks nice and cold. Don't want to have, whoa, warm chocolate milk. We got a whole bunch. We even got Fruit Loops. Not sure if you guys have seen that. We've got this protein power. We also got protein power strawberry. This one was just regular chocolate milk. And this was my favorite one that he sent me last time. So he sent me a few more, uh, but I only brought the five that we're gonna try today. I can't wait to try that Fruit Loop one, man. It's gonna be awesome. There he is, people, unmasked. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? All right. Let's just get this out of the way. Oh, amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. So, what are we going to do today, sir? Are we going to make the ranch? The ranch. Let's do that. Let's do it. Are you ready? Right. Yeah. So, uh, we got a pretty good response from people wanting to come back here and watch you make one of your amazing pizzas. Amazing. and. And congratulations also on a second location. So Did I hear that right? So what we're doing is, is this is also icy, like a bunch of stuff. Right now we're kind of prepping for tomorrow. We're doing Oxbridge. Okay. So like a Vince is in Oxbridge. We're just going to do what we do there. A little bit more prep has to be done though. So I have to like par bake some of the doughs and right. get everything ready just because it's smaller space over there. Right. And less like prep area. So I've got to like have things ready. ready. So we sold out like 40 pizzas for tomorrow night. That's amazing. Uh, we sold out on Monday, so. <laughs> no, it suck if you come in there, you're like, oh, I want to try a, a, one of your pizzas. You're like, dude, we're sold out. Exactly. Like, so, geez, that's awesome, Pretty dude. excited for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. So right now, I'll just show you what we do is like, we carbake our doughs here. 
Okay. I just started to do that recently. It just comes with like a more consistent product. So what we do is like we put our dough in for about five minutes after we stretch it throughout the day and stuff. Bake it for five minutes, take it out, kind of let it cool down. Okay. And then I've actually got some in the oven right now. Any can you Yeah, let's go. Let's take a peek. Oh, so okay. What we do there. So that's a convection oven, right? It is. Yeah. A very high powered convection oven. Let's see those forearms. Yeah. See how many little burns you got. <laughs> Just a few, for sure. <laughs> of course, all pizza guys and pizza women always have those little scars on their forearms. Let's see, just let them cool down. Let them cool down. Dude, I've been looking forward to this since I came here last. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm excited for you to have the ranch. Is my favorite. It's kind of like the one that I. It was the first kind of idea I had for myself. For it's inspired, obviously, a little bit by like Subway's chicken bacon ranch. If you know, uh, and I love their chicken and bacon it's ranch. Such yeah. a classic. Yeah. Maybe you were coming, so I had some of the time. Of course. Usually we do it upstairs. We do our prep area, but go for almost almost a pound of cheese on the pizza there. So. I'm sorry, a what? Almost a pound. A so pound of a, cheese. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I am so lucky. I was supposed to come here yesterday, but there was a huge storm and it was really dark out and I need some light in my car to show what I'm doing. And so we called it off, but I was like losing my mind last night because my brain, the whole day was gearing up for your pizza. Sure. And then I had to cancel at the last second. It's like, oh, but now I am going to indulge. I just might have to do, eat half of it tonight, at least. Are you, uh, are you, are you camping tonight or? I am. Nice. Shh, don't tell anybody. I won't. <laughs> and are you in the new van or the? Uh, no, I'm a, that's, so the stealth camp is always going to be rusty. For sure. And I, when I, or when I do a solo adventure or whatever, and then the big van's for Carol and I or my son or Paul or whatever. So, so that was just a lot of mozzarella. Any specific it's kind? It's actually, uh, it's mozzarella mixed with brick cheese. Also, there's two brick, types of cheese. Yeah, brick cheese is really classic for Detroit style cheese. Okay. It's almost like, more like a white cheddar. Okay. A little richer, a little like more melty. That's kind of where you get like a ton of the flavor. Nice. The cheese, so. And so this would be the chicken. This is the chicken. We've started to load up a bit more with our toppings. I've been able to kind of like source toppings that kind of you can get better price on it. Before I was doing a lot of stuff by myself. So it's like prepping chicken, doing this, where now we've got a lot of stuff coming in. So Here our comes. toppings have got more, we put more cheese on now. And I had one of my awesome subscribers all the way from uh, New York State sent me a whole pile of um, Nesquik chocolate milk things. Oh, amazing. And one of them is, is uh, Fruit Loops. So I'm looking oh, wow. forward to trying Fruit so Loops you after. That one? <laughs> I have a dessert for tonight. That's amazing. Yeah, well, that looks awesome. So then we pop that in. Here. All right. It's not like you would ever call it like sick or Oh my god, look at that sizzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let me zoom in. Because, oh, we gotta see that sizzle. Oh, look at that. I love that edge. Look at the edge. Look at that. That's my favorite part right there. And that's what makes it, did you yeah. like style? Oh my gosh. That's a nice big long spatula. It's perfect. Or oofer. It's funny, my brother got me that spatula and my neighbor gave me this before I started this pizza spot and now they gave me this too. Mm. I was saying, you just had to cut it once. <laughs> <laughs> and then fold it. And then I'm have a big, big pizza sandwich. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh. How's Mallory doing? She's doing very well. Fantastic, tell her we said hi. I will for sure, she's downtown this evening. So. Oh, okay. 
Usually when people come for their first time, honestly, I throw in dips, I throw in stuff for people. Yeah, get them hooked. They come and pick up, <laughs> as opposed to the Uber and Skip, because we do appreciate people ordering through us. For sure. Yeah. We do have a website now as well, so it's TimboSlicePizza.com. If you order through there, just wait for a response, and we usually respond within like 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Appreciate See it. You soon. All right, people, let's go eat. Ah, nice sunset. Got some food. We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, I am freaking out. I'm so excited. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Like I said, I'm gonna be eating at least half this pizza with you guys. So if you are hungry, make sure you have some food. It's like a disclaimer. Make sure you have some food and uh, you can eat along with me. You guys ready to go in for the close up? Let's do this. Okay, let's open it up this way. Oh boy, getting darker and darker in this van. So I'm hoping that this camera, this video camera does a great job and it makes you as hungry as I am for pizza, especially Timbo Slice pizza. All right, I folded the lid underneath because it wasn't uh, messy. It wasn't uh, have pizza bits on the lid, so that was gonna. That's definitely gonna help. I'm just kind of stalling for a second because it's obviously just came out of the oven. Uh, let's go with our favorite go-to to start off, and then we'll uh, do some samplings between slices of the other ones, and then the Fruit Loops will be last. Thanks again, Danny K for uh, offering some of these amazing drinks. You definitely wanna shake it. There we go. Whole milk. It's uh, 360 calories, but it is so worth every single calorie. Cheers guys, and congratulations once again to Tim and Mallory. On their engagement and expanding. All right, let's see if it's gonna be too hot. Oh, check out that pizza, ladies and gentlemen. It is all light. It is all fluffy. Oh, you can smell those two cheeses and the uh, jalapeno. <laughs> Instantly fogged up my glasses. I love how thick the crust is. Again, the, my favorite part right there. Mm. You heard it from Tim. He loved the idea of the chicken ranch club. So that's what he kind of based this one on. Or sorry, the chicken bacon ranch. Which is one of my favorite subs too. Mm, this is a nice garlic sauce that is phenomenal if you're going to share this with another person then get two sauces because i would definitely use that all up uh, and that way you can double dip you hear crunchiness On a side note, I went into the uh, the bar there to ask one of the waitresses for a pen so I could write the card to Tim and Mallory. And there's a guy sitting at the bar and he's like, hey, I watch your videos. I'm like, no way. He goes, I have a food truck. And I'm like, where the hell's your food truck? And he says, it doesn't open till uh, the end of uh, April, but there's a, a food truck just north of here. I can't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head. We uh, exchange numbers and uh, I'm gonna be doing a food truck in the near future, mm, this sauce, Tim, man, that sauce is amazing. It is a thing of perfection. I love the crunch. Lots of napkins still from D Spot desserts. I think I have enough for the next month. <laughs> One more sip of this. Oh, it's just nice and thick. 
It's like a, um, a thick milkshake. It's super chocolatey too. So let's move on to the next one. Hope this video is not going to be too long for you guys. All right. Let's move on to strawberry protein power. Once again, give it a shake. Cheers. You know, your typical, um, this is actually thick too. So 23 grams of protein, 290 calories. And it is per, per bottle. Somebody was saying it's, it's only for half the bottle, but it does say for one bottle. That is awesome. And it is nice and thick. I love strawberry milk. I love strawberry milkshakes. Oh, I just happened to pick up the biggest slice right there. The biggest Timbo slice. Just a monster. Mm. Again, the combination of cheeses, the bacon and the jalapeno, and of course that amazing crust. It just all combines into that amazing tastes and flavors and experiences. Like Jim Carrey said in a movie, joygasm. What movie is that from? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Mm. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to polish off half this pizza. If you grab something to eat to watch this video, let me know in the comments below what you're eating while you're watching me eat this. Mm. I'm almost done my sauce and I still have two more pieces to go. So there's two more chocolate ones. We've already done the chocolate one in a previous video. So we'll leave that aside. I just don't want to open all of these and then uh, me not be able to finish them all uh, over the next couple days. And I don't want it to go bad or anything. So, but I haven't tried this protein one and we'll compare the protein one. Just my finger just will not get in there. Finally. And again, this is the protein power and it's 290. So it's this, oh, this is 360. So let's try the flavor difference between these two. And, uh, but again, if you want protein, go for that one, I guess. This one has 14 grams of protein in it. And this one had the uh, 23 grams. Cheers. Uh, let's do the protein one first. It tastes pretty good. I just found my new favorite. This one has way more flavor than this one. When you try this one, it just tastes chocolatier. And then you try the whole milk one and it, although it has that whole milk flavor to it, it's, uh, it tastes like it's like diet compared to this one. Like it was made with skim milk or something. This is now my favorite. The, the protein power chocolate Nesquik shake. Thank you. I'm so glad you sent me that. Now I, now I've got a new favorite time for another slice. Today, Carol and I picked up, uh, it's Friday when I'm shooting this video. And this afternoon, we uh, finally went and picked up the Sprinter van that we're gonna be doing some amazing adventures for you guys. A bunch of people have already reached out to Carol and I, uh, telling us where to eat when we travel across Canada, into the States. We've got emails from people from Denver, from Alberta, from out east in Canada and out east in the United States. So thank you very much for all the amazing uh, heads up on places to eat. And visit. Look at the bottom of that. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. I don't mind drinking chocolate milk with my pizza, but it's always beer or Coke or Pepsi. I don't care which one, but uh, that is my favorite beverage when I'm eating pizza. Let me and everybody else know in the comments below what is your favorite beverage while eating a beautiful pizza like this one. 
start riding. I'll keep eating. A few more bites and we're done. Just in time, out of sauce on my last bite. And what a wonderful last bite. Mm. Uh, we have a dessert here from Nestle. And uh, this is the Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal flavored milk. That's going to be crazy. Crazy, I tell you. All right, let's rip this top off. Crack open the lid. 250 calories. It has the Fruit Loops flavors in it. The first thing I tasted was lemon, which is kind of weird drinking lemon milk. Yeah, it tastes like uh, you're drinking the leftovers uh, of your milk after eating a couple bowls of uh, Fruit Loops. And you're it's definitely thick. It's, it's like the whole milk kind of thick. The Fruit Loop drink was okay. I'm glad I tried it. I probably would never pick that up in a store if I saw it. If all these were lined up, I would definitely grab the protein power chocolate uh, milk because it just had all the flavor and it had that thick, creamy milk uh, experience. Mm, that is a thing of beauty. Now that we're all done, I'm gonna go in the back, put all these drinks in the fridge so that they stay cold. Uh, you can't freeze them, but once they're open, you gotta put them back in the fridge and I definitely wanna drink them all. Uh, even, even the one I don't like that much, uh, I don't wanna waste it. So uh, again, it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't something I'd buy again. Anyway, so let's do that and then we'll get this place all stealthed out and then get ready for uh, to hit the hay. In this situation, I've discovered that uh, if you get one thing that you're going to be putting in there and just stick it in the door, it jars it open. And again, one of the things I love about this thing is it lights up so you can see what you're grabbing. Done. All right. Stealth windows coming up. Turn the lights on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, one of my favorite things about using the Blue Eddy is going to be putting my phone down and then just having it charge and I don't have to worry about plugging it in. That's going to be awesome. All the stealth windows are in place. Uh, it does definitely uh, supply a little bit of warmth. Uh, it doesn't let a lot of the heat go out the windows at nighttime. It right now is 12 degrees Celsius. So it's not freezing in here, but it is definitely cold. Uh, I did, I was gonna bring my summer, yesterday it was really nice. And I was gonna, I was actually thinking about bringing my summer sleeping bag just so, just to start preparing my brain for summer weather but it just got colder and colder i'm like no i'm gonna bring my minus nine it's just not the most comfortable in the world but it keeps me warm and that is way more important than being super comfortable in the space that's all i mean because it's a mummy bag so it's it's kind of restricting and tight and i like to have a bigger uh, sleeping bag now that we're all set up and cozy i'm going to uh possibly go and use the facilities before they close down the bar is probably open till like one o'clock in the morning so if i need to use the washroom there i have that option uh but i'm going to watch uh, some more breaking bad and then we'll hit the hay so thanks for hanging out with me today and we'll see you in the morning
Good morning. Ooh, it's two degrees. <laughs> My jacket's over there, but let's get this car started. Get the heat going. And then we'll go grab a coffee from Timmy's. Uh, I'm trying to think where the closest Timmy's is. Must be in Bradford, I guess. Had a pretty good sleep last night. No noises, nothing woke me up. Pretty uh, calm parking lot. And uh, yeah, temperature was fine. Sleeping bag was worked out perfect. Got a new hat. Thanks, Paul. Paul went on another Molson trip and uh, gave a lot of swag out. And Paul had an extra hat, so he gave me one. This is really nice, super tight nice and comfy so you've seen me wear this for a while <laughs> until it warms up anyway uh-oh we got a we got mail <laughs> that's funny i didn't notice i had a envelope on my windshield until I turn my uh, windshield wipers on. All right, the letter says, hello Ken, I happen to be shopping and noticed Rusty on my way out. Being such huge fans, my buddy and I, of yours, I couldn't let this opportunity go by without dropping you this hello. Uh, I've been watching your videos on YouTube for three years now and I love the content you bring, a sense of joy and happiness to life, especially given what we've all been dealing with the last two years. So glad Carol is joining you on your KBD adventures. Love watching. Keep up the good work. By the way, it's my birthday today, April 9th, and I believe it's uh, Harv and Jer. It looks like J-E-R. So happy birthday. Uh, he said that would be epic if I wished him a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for dropping off the mail. And then he gave me five bucks because uh, he says, we know how much you love your morning coffee. This is a token of our appreciation. Your coffee is on us. So that is awesome, guys. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Bye, Vince's. Thank you. Thanks, Timbo Slice. It was a slice. Can I get a large black coffee, please? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, good. Thanks. Thanks. Have a great day. You as well. Super friendly people here in Bradford. I'm at the Timmy Hortons. I got changed for another coffee. Thank you. Well, guys, I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for dropping by and watching this video. Uh, all your subscriptions thumbs up comments are super helpful for my channel's growth uh, I have got some special stuff coming up for you guys real soon so stay tuned for that I also like to thank all my uh, channel members for all your support and of course all the supporters over on my patreon you guys rock if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're hungry for more check out that playlist I dumped down over there and we'll see you over there bring your hunger